and we're in a big room of like 10 different feature teams. Mm -hmm. um, and before, you would have been in very sort of silos, but we're in a big room for two days and we're able to run between the teams, work out the dependencies. Mm -hmm. It looks like chaos, yeah. <laughs> um, but what it is is actually great collaboration and, yeah. and removing, uh, removing the ambiguity yeah. um, and being able to sort of map up your plans so that you're, you're working in tandem and in sync. Um, what an amazing experience to see so many teams from so many different components working together, sharing ideas, resolving issues real time, understanding dependency was truly amazing. And the way we have achieved it, I really think we, we wouldn't have achieved it if it would be over phone or communication or email chain you know meeting guys face to face chasing them to get these things sorted was very useful and the best of it was the planning part it was very good because the dependencies are you know known up front and we can go and talk to the opponent um, something I've not been involved with before, but to see the various components working collaboratively in such a different way was really um, energising. The guys seem really empowered really understood what the process was all about and actively worked through issues real time. We are one team, ocean team are working together, so we each and everything we can go to anyone else. Definitely more confident than before and excited uh, on the future journey of ocean. Go good and uh, we are going to rock. The team bonding would be would be very you know good because now everyone has met each other face to face. Yeah. Once we go back to the desk, if we want to initiate, let's say I have got some queries with respect to from development or end-to-end -end test, then I know that okay, I know these people face to face. So I prioritize that and I try to get them get them sorted. The thing for me now as um, a product owner is I am seeing um, the process in action. So already as a result of working through the daily scrum calls um, and reaching the end of sprint one, we have identified some real time design development queries that we wouldn't necessarily have seen until the very end of the development process as part of end to end test. Um, but you feel a lot more ownership for it. Yeah. Uh, which is which is great and you feel more invested and you feel like you've got more idea of what's happening elsewhere you don't just feel like it's this bit of handing it off you've got a good idea of how it's all going to come together at the end and working through questions and issues in an empowered way rather than always looking for um, somebody to bridge that relationship gap the other thing that the guys have talked about is the importance of understanding the end game um, which we positioned as, as part of our offshore um, project. The guys know what Project Ocean is all about, they know what they need to deliver and they understand the complexities around it and they are really thinking through and using that knowledge in terms of their design and development. So for me it's been a really um, nervous, apprehensive kind of environment, but one that I'm really enjoying and learning an awful lot as I go. The, the great um, opportunity to work with the teams in a much closer way 
and actually see design and development happening real time has been a great experience for me.